fine. It's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I think we were more ready to play. We came out, we spoke at halftime in challenge, we needed to stop them getting second chance points and we needed to get out to their shooters. You know, they hit a lot of shots in the first half and I think at the second half we did a better job. We just, we let ourselves get blown out in the first half, which ended up hurting us. Um, yeah, I'd say p probably. Um, I mean, it probably would have felt a lot better if we had got the win, but I mean, that was something that I really wanted to win, but, you know, I tried to do everything I could, but obviously we couldn't put it together, but I mean, it's definitely going to be a motivator, so hopefully there'll be more games like it, or better. Your numbers were significantly better than your numbers last year against TCU. Mm -hmm. Um, well, yeah, I think that was one of my first college games, so I think it's still just getting used to the, like, college basketball. Um, also, I think I was really motivated. I didn't understand the rivalry. I didn't understand, you know, so, and I came in today and I'm like, I want to win. We, want, we wanted to win, but obviously it didn't go to plan, but I think it was just the, like, experience. I was confident. And you know, I felt good going in, so it was it's disappointing, but right, we can only move on. Now you've got a year under your belt playing for this coaching staff. Yep. You know these teammates, the system. What's the biggest difference in your game between a year ago and where you are now? Um, I would say my confidence and then also knowing my role on the team and the coaches knowing my role on the team. Um, I, when I came in last year, I didn't even go to get um, go to summer school. So literally, our first practice, they were like the first few weeks, they were asking me, you know, what are you good at? So it was still kind of we were both learning each other, because obviously, you know, being from so far away. So I think now, like, the coaching staff has a feel for me. I have a feel for them, and like, I think we're starting to gel better. So yeah, I know where I like to get my shots and stuff. Last year in the first semester of the season, mm -hmm. Stephanie Collins wasn't here. Mm -hmm. I think it's just her presence in the paint. Like, obviously, it's height. We need that. Um, it takes a lot of pressure off me because I can run more as a swinging, like, swinging forward kind of thing. So I can run off screens. Whereas last year, I kind of got put in the five and I was the one that was posting up. And I can do that, but that's not what I want to do for my whole game. So now Steph gets, you know, people are double teaming her. So it's opening up people, everyone else's shots. So she's a big help just having her here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think we have to learn from tonight. Obviously, Sunday night's game. I think we, like, we obviously rolled over them. So I think we came in a bit almost too confident tonight. Especially a few of our people. You know, we've got JUCO transfers. We've got two freshmen. We've got people that haven't played good Div One schools. So I think that might have hurt us tonight. We've got a taste of it now. So hopefully we come out ready and we don't let them jump on us like they did in the first half and we can stay with them so it doesn't end up having to be a fight back. It's more of a push out a lead or stay with them.